Hello everybody and welcome to the Atlanta Motor Speedway for the second to last race of the regular season in our NASCAR Heat 5 2023 mod career mode season number two. The Atlanta Motor Speedway for the Ambetter 400 where of course we have back-to-back -back Super Speedway races, this race, and then of course Daytona, the regular season finale. We have four drivers currently in on um, points for our stories of the race. Tyler Reddick sits on the pole for today's race. Ricky Stenhouse and Corey LaJoy will both start at the rear after failing inspection. So they will have a hole to climb up from if they want to get a win today and make the playoffs. But we're starting right in front of them, 38th. We had an abysmal qualifying effort, as always, here at these super speedways. That's how the game works. And now we're green and underway here in Atlanta, a track we've been very successful at over the last couple of seasons. We're trying to continue that success with another victory today as we start from 38th alongside BJ McLeod, trying to work our way forwards up into contention. 14 to go in this opening stage of racing as we are on the outside of McLeod now trying to chase down Burton and Yaley among others. So now we're starting to work this outside lane. We get around McLeod to the inside of Harrison Burton, go by him, shoot to the inside of JJ Yaley with ease, and try to get after Chase Briscoe up there for 34th place. Your Richmond winner just two episodes ago, of course got him in the playoffs, but it looked like a grim season for him. Saved himself there with that win. Very fortunate for him, and now we're going working by Chandler Smith right now for 33rd, the colleague racing driver, and a part-time effort in the 13 car. We'll go by him. Now we chase down Ryan Priest in the 41 and Justin Haley in the 51. Give Priest a little bit of a bump there. Oh, Haley gets loose. Now we go three wide with them down the back stretch. Trying to get by them as well as host of our Cindric. Bubba Wallace now has gotten to the race lead. And if you'll remember, Bubba Wallace comes into this race about 40 points below the cut line. He needs a lot of help today if he wants a lot of help to make the playoffs. And he, first of all, is starting very well at doing that today. Cindric just stacked up in front of us. He's pulled him four wide down the front stretch at Atlanta. Somehow made that pass. 12 to go on the stage, we continue on now into 27th. But yeah, Bubba Wallace, uh, 40 points below Kelly coming into today, leading this race and uh, doing exactly what he needs to do to try to make it in. And that would bump either Nemechek or Bowman out. Both are very close together in the points. Cannot afford that bad days today. Ooh, a little bit of a wiggle there as we try to race Alex Bowman right here. Another bubble driver for 24th as he tries to point his way into the playoffs. As we get around him right there, chase down the no 10 and Noah Gregson dodges to the outside of him. You know, we were fighting him and Kozlowski, these two right up here at the end of. Michigan, we beat both of them, but well, we were beating them to the last lap when Chris Busher beat us and sent us back to fifth place, which is still a solid finish, but could have been a victory. Now we're in the top 20, just gave Kyle Busch the bumper, went right by him, now working by Keselowski. Gonna go by Daniel Hemrick, we easily go by him. Now we go to the outside of Denny Hamlin in the three and four here, way up top on the high line, and <laughs> literally running the Kyle Larson line right now, right behind Kyle Larson, trying to work our way forwards on his outside. Now we got a shove from Keselowski, bit of a squeeze here, huge run, the big contact. To the back of Larson down the front stretch, just shoving him out of his mind here. Going to turn one and two. We got a shove from Gregson as well. Now we decide to go to the middle in between Larson and McDowell. We're getting squeezed like a sandwich right now. And uh, now we managed to make it three wide by Larson. Now we're getting squeezed into Chastain by Michael McDowell. And we managed to give Chastain a shot and hold our line here with McDowell. And into three and four, we'll have the momentum. And the race track, McDowell clears us, but we're able to get behind him here on the bottom, get a run from Daniel Hemrick, go to the inside of our Alliance teammate of Zane Smith, fly by him, and a whole bunch of five, six, seven, eight cars. Just like that, we're easily into the top ten. We just passed Nemechek, now just passed Shane Van Gisbergen, all SVG, now working by Christopher Bell. And the 20, trying to pass Todd Gilliland and Joey Logano to get up into the top three. We're in the top five right now in fifth, now fourth by Logano, third by Gilliland, and one spot away from P2 here. We start to get around Albany here. Bubba Wallace is five seconds ahead. He's just driven away. As he's been here in Atlanta. Now we're in the second place just like that. Driving right by AJ Almanier. But Bubba Wallace in the lead. Looking for a stage win. And 10 crucial points to get him back. Where he can point his way in at Daytona. So now, now we've taken the lead after Bubba Wallace. And a lot of other drivers coming down pit road. Now we're coming for our pit stop. But we're coming in hot though. We're almost wrecking here. Flying down the pit lane. We downshift. But still they give us speeding for going 37 on the road, which I doubt is speeding, but they charge the speeding penalty. We take fuel only, and I have to sit here for 15 seconds on pit road with this darn speeding penalty. And so now that's just costing us dearly, as we could have came out with the lead there, uh, stolen the stage win, but instead it's going to be costly, and we're going to be right back where we were. Hopefully we can still get stage points. I mean, SVG right there, he's in right in front of us. He's out of the race. He blew a tire, so that's unfortunate for him. We come out scored in fifth as Christopher Bell is going to barely win the stage right there, crossing the line to get to his pit box. He's literally like right on the start finish line. So Bell, very lucky to get that stage win. Uh, Corey LaJoy got some points there in third. Bubba Wallace uh, is fourth, looks like he'll get uh, good stage points, and we'll probably come home in fifth here. 
no one around us. So here we are, we're up to three and four. There's still gonna be barely anybody on the lead lap here as we conclude this opening stage of racing. As we work our way through three and four for the final time, we come home fifth in stage one. Disappointing, could have been better. We get six stage points earned. Sorry, we should get fourth. We passed somebody. We passed uh, somebody at the line to get fourth there in the stage. I think it's Harris Horse. We get seven points, so it's actually Bell, the stage winner. Bubble Walls got some good points there. Now back underway in stage two. We are scored in fifth place. Trying to work our way forwards now. Uh, on the inside of Michael McDowell on our outside, Bubba Wallace still up here in contention, doing a great job of keeping his playoff hopes alive right now in fourth. How about Harrison Burton, Corey LaJoy in the top three here, having tremendous runs, we easily drive by them. And now a real opponent is Christopher Bell in the 20, a long-time rival, made a little bit of contact right there, now that's a huge side draft, and we get a run, and we'll take the lead here in the three and four for the first time today. We are now leading out Atlanta ahead of Christopher Bell, but he's going to get right back to our bumper, gives a big shot here as we try to hold on and keep him behind us, do some blocking here, but he's a very fast race car. That was a little bit of a late block. We're going to try over now with three and four of the next lap. He gets the bumper. We can't hold it, and there goes Christopher Bell. He sneaks by on the inside. Bell back to the lead here at Atlanta. He gets back around us, and we got to try to chase him back down with 20 to go in the stage. And now a few laps there. Caution will come out late in the stage, about mid-stage, like everyone to come down pit road, not having to come in during the green flag cycle. So 11 to go in stage two, we restart in the lead. Our pit crew got us out in front of Christopher Bell, so that is awesome. As now we try to finish the job and bring home a victory here in Atlanta, which will be our 10th win on the season. And the 24th on our career. So we are leading Harrison Burton, and Christopher Bell slowing each other down for a second, exactly what I want to see. Allows me to drive away. And now we move on to last lap of stage two. We gotta try to block Michael McDowell. He's got a shot at us here. We have a little bit of contact there, but we've had some clean, hard racing for the lead, and we maintain the lead over Michael McDowell. He goes the outside, we go the inside, and our momentum prevails. Looks like we might probably hang on to get the stage two in here, and then McDowell's going to have one last shot and three and four to try to take it away here. As we go three and four the final time in stage two, caution will end the stage prematurely. We get the stage victory. Another playoff point, you'll love to see it, but once again, Bubba Wallace, six stage points, continuing to improve on his situation at the cut line. Now we're on into the final stage. We are comfortably leading here. Joey Logano is second, trying to close in. Caution comes out. It's now on that, the second lap of that restart. So 11 laps to go. We're trying to block Christopher Bell. A little bit of contact. Bell goes sideways there. I'm just trying to block him for my life here to maintain this lead. I don't want to give up a win. Oh, we got the apron. Bell sideways. The 20. Can he save it? No, he cannot. Around goes Christopher Bell. Back into the pack behind him. He spins. No caution. We stay green. And Christopher Bell's hopes have just like that vanished. And so now we are comfortably in the lead. And how about Bubba Wallace in second place, making up a ton of points today on the cut line. As we lead the way with 10 laps to go. And everyone just two to go here in Atlanta. We're holding off Brad Keselowski. We are good to the end on fuel. Brad Keselowski is uh, definitely in doubt, in doubt so he can make it a fuel. But we are good to the end here. And we pretty much have this dominant win all but sealed right now as we try to hold off the six of Kislaus. He's got to run here down the back stretch. What will he do? Can he try to steal the win from us again? As we were waiting three and four questions, or will he come down pit road? Look behind us. Brad is going to come down pit road. The six is in. He doesn't have enough fuel. He's out of gas. And Kislowski will pit. And now we pretty much have this all locked up. White flag in the air. Final lap. Presented by Credit One Bank at Atlanta. We are about to be a second consecutive season with 10 or more victories. About to get win number 10 on the season. Career win number 24. How about Harrison Burton currently scored in second. John Hunter. Nemechek in third. That is huge for his playoff hopes. He might uh, be right up there getting close to locking himself in. So 3 for the final time. We are going to come down the front stretch to complete the dominant performance. And we will win at Atlanta. Our 10th win of the season. Getting it done in dominating fashion. You'll love to see it. Finally, finally, we have won after so many these past couple of races being so close. But not being able to get the job done. We finally get it done. Get momentum at the right time of the season. As we burn it down in celebration here in Atlanta. Now he's got to finish the job next week. The regular season finale in Daytona. Where, of course, the big uh, focus is going to be on that playoff bubble. How many points did Bubba Wallace make up? That is the question. Did he make up enough to get in? Or be definitely within point, basically to get within pointing range? I think, if, I think he did. He had a tremendous, tremendous run today. As, of course, you can see our Atlanta dominance. This is our, I believe, our fourth straight win at Atlanta here in the career mode. And it's just a track that we're incredibly good at here. And we continue to just be one of the best in the business here at Atlanta. 
Of course, Daytona next week. Playoff opener is in the Southern 500 at Darlington. We do a big burnout, and I celebrate victory lane with the crew. Now you look at the final race results. Of course, myself, your winner, getting our 10th win on the season. Harrison Burton, a career best second place finish. Great job to him. John Hunter Nemechek comes home in third. Joey Lugge, which is huge for him and his, his playoff hopes. Louis Lugano, fourth. Michael McDowell, fifth. Corey LaJoy, great finish in sixth. Brad Keselowski, seventh. Chase Elliott, eighth. Christopher Mabel, ninth. And Bubba Wallace rounds out your top ten. A huge points day. Keeps his hopes alive of pointing his way in at Daytona next week. So, we, of course, we get the win. Bubba finishes 10th. There's 11th through 20th in the race results. And then 21st through 30th. And 31st through 40th where, oh, man, DNFs for Zane Smith, Chase Briscoe, Kyle Busch, one of our bubble drivers, and SVG. Bowman also finishes 32nd, two laps down. And this playoff, this playoff grid is going to be very, very interesting, ladies and gentlemen. It's going to be a tight battle. Of course, we've already clinched the regular season championship. Byron Hamlin, Truex. Bell, Elliott, Nemechek, Kozlowski, Bush, Bowman, top 10 points. So Nemechek actually jumps both Bush and Bowman for only nine points apart. That's for 15th and points. Question is, how close is Bubba Wallace to Alex Bowman here for the cut? Oh, he's right there. He is only 11 points out. Bubba Wallace, what a drive. Only 11 behind Bowman. We are going to have a tight points battle at Daytona, ladies and gentlemen. There's 11 through 20th in the points. There's the rest of the points. Standing Zane Smith is actually only above uh, 31st in points right now by uh, 13 points. So that's also close. If he if he does not make top 30 in points, then he's out and Bubba is automatically in. But if he does, then we have a true points battle. Fast lap of the race today goes to Christopher Bell. They have 30-23. We led the most laps, being 43 and dominating this race. We were also on the move driver, up 37 spots from 38th to 1st on the day. A tremendous drive and a tough break. And go to Kyle Larson. That's been his whole season. Minus 32. He will likely miss the playoffs unless he can win at Daytona. Here's the playoff grid. We are chilling. 10 wins. Regular season champion. We are the championship favorites. We're looking good. Truex, 3 wins. He's fine. He's good. Keselowski, 2 wins. He's good. Chastain, 2 wins. He's good. William Byron, Hamlin, Elliott, Busher, all with 1 win. They're fine. They're good. They're in. They're chilling. So is Tyler Reddick, AJ Almany, or Chase Briscoe. Zane Smith just has to maintain that gap over Austin Dillon for 30th to get in. Christopher Bell, Basically clinched on points. Currently plus 71. He's pretty much good to be in the playoffs. John Hunter Nemechek currently sits plus 36 above the cut line. Looking okay, but does not want to have a horrible day at Daytona. Kyle Busch plus 21. Bowman plus 12 over Bubble Wallace. Eight huge battle going to Daytona. Everyone else must win. That includes Joey Logano, Ryan Blaney, Kyle Larson, Ty Gibbs. So until the next episode at Daytona for the racing finale, I hope you all have a good one.